How are you guys doing today? <laughs> uh, so what I want to talk about, um, probably heard a lot about, you know, dreaming and dreaming big, and, and everyone basically talks about execution as the main thing. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about execution. You know, you, I can talk about in kind of about the abstract form. There's speed, there's execution, there's decisiveness, and and uh, reading a series of kind of uh, articles to help you with uh, uh, mental models and different ways to of of uh, execution. But I want to specifically talk about uh, the third wave on the internet. Uh, you probably have heard of it. It's a small website called Facebook. Um, and, uh, and Facebook is really kind of a, uh, the third generation uh, on the internet. Uh, the first generation is uh, publishing everything that's offline, online. Uh, the second generation is kind of a browsing discovery, which you now know as Google, which is search. And the third generation is uh, is social, um, whether that is social gaming, social applications, and social networks. Um, and so you probably want to know, you know, why are all these people kind of uh, making friends on Facebook? Why are 500, 700 million monthly active unique people uh, just absolutely addicted uh, on Facebook? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about my imaginary friends on something called Facebook. <clears throat> Uh, so this is a little bit my background. Um, you know, I've created uh, two companies. Uh, I'm working on my first, uh, second company right now, and my first two co uh, kind of our products, one got to four million users, the second got to 200 million users. Um, so a lot of people uh, ask me and come up to me at cocktail parties and, and whatever it be, like, I have an idea. Uh, you're an angel investor. You're an uh, entrepreneur. Can you help me for formalize it? You know, uh, I have a social theater application I want to do. I have a social music application, social TV. Basically, just add social and a bunch of buzzwords, and uh, that's what people typically ask me. <laughs> um, and you know, you guys have probably heard friends and family uh, talk to you about their their uh, very secretive idea that they can't really disclose. Um, you know, um, and and everyone wants to make it into the next uh, YouTube, Farmville, Cora, or Dig. Um, and uh, and a lot of people think it's just uh, it's pretty simple, you know. Um, I'm social. I'm a human human being. Uh, what what do I have to do? I have to add comments. I have to add likes. I have to add some hearts. Um, and that's not really kind of a uh, what it's all about. Um, I want to kind of uh, dive into uh, kind of a, the fundamental psychology of uh, humans. Um, humans are fundamentally social. <laughs> this may uh, not come as a huge surprise to you guys, um, you know, being you guys are human beings yourself, um, but to, to <laughs> hopefully. Um, and, uh, uh, and, but, but, you know, the, the specifics uh, kind of uh, come within, within your brain. Um, it's actually built inside your brain. And uh, there's two examples I want to kind of uh, uh, talk to you about. Um, when, when people look at kind of uh, insults, uh, you've heard kind of uh, uh, stick and stones may not break my bones and you know, words may never hurt me. Um, but people monitor brain activity within um, various machines. And they found that when, when you insult someone, when you put something, someone down, it affects the same region as physical pain. Um, and the second example uh, I want to kind of uh, uh, talk to you about is kind of a uh, is solitary confinement. So, so if you think about solitary confinement, it's it's one of the uh, you know some people argue it's torture, some people argue, but it's everyone basically talks about the the cruel kind of uh, ramifications of solitary confinement. And, and the reason why is your brain actually shrinks while you're in solitary confinement. You need, whether it's introverts or extroverts, you need to talk to other people. Um, and, and what do you exactly need? 
um, there's five kind of uh, common elements. You know, everyone wants status, whether it's in context of their friends and family, whether they, they uh, you know, uh, I mean, within their own social network, they want certainty. They want autonomy. They want to be able to control their own lives. Uh, they want to be able to kind of uh, relate to each other. Uh, and they generally want fairness. Um, so, so in diving into kind of a, uh, the design uh, of it, you know, this is getting to the execution part. <laughs> um, you know, um, and and uh, um, the design, you always want something kind of uh, to uh, aspire to. Um, what, whatever that be, you know, thinking about, about your application, um, you know, when you're talking about social TV, when you're talking about kind of a, a lot of these applications, people talk about, um, you know, just adding comments to applications. And that's not really what it's about. Uh, the people who use Facebook the most are basically what they basically want when they post a piece of uh, content on their uh on their Facebook, oh, I'm so sad today. And then you'll see all these people doing likes and comments and, and other things. What they basically want is to accumulate these likes and comments to up their social status in, in, uh, in their social network, whether you, whether you consciously know it or you unconsciously uh, know it. Um, and the second step is once you kind of uh, figure out what the aspirational items are uh, within uh, your uh, within your uh, social app is indication of status, um, and they typically call this ego statistics. You know, statistics to kind of uh, soothe your ego. Um, you know, uh, in Facebook, you know, it's your uh, kind of uh, comments, the number of friends you have, um, the number of likes you have per per uh, status update, um, and and you typically see this with a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of social applications. In the early days, I mean, if you think about YouTube, it's views. Uh, content creators uh, on Facebook, I'm, on, on YouTube, will consistently watch their view count. And in the early days, um, the YouTube founders actually designed in uh, additional honors. So like badges and honors for every, if you got the most views in education, if you got the most views in, um, you know, healthcare or gaming or whatever it be. And uh, those become highly, highly addictive because you constantly go back and you look at your ego statistics. And a lot of people miss this in kind of other social application design, um, which is, is rewards and feedback. Um, so very much like uh, Newton's law, for every action, there needs to be an equal and opposite reaction. Um, when, <laughs> maybe perhaps a little too academic, um, but, um, but um, if, you, if you look at, at a lot of Facebook's releases, whether you talk about likes, whether you talk about comments, um, and one of Facebook's F8 kind of presentations was, you know, Zuckerberg basically got on stage and he's like, today we have something awesome. <laughs> and in the background, um, he clicks his clicker, and uh, uh, and what's revealed is that he's adding likes to the entire web and every uh, uh, on Facebook as well, um, and and everyone's like, oh my God, that's so amazing, but you know, I mean, it's just it's it's a button, right? Like you click it, and it do, it does a like, it changes it changes a counter, and but. Why, why is that so valuable? It's valuable especially for the people that, uh, that post the original content. So um, within kind of a, a communities, there's, it's, there's a series of kind of a segmentation within the community. What, whether you talk about, um, there's people that actually post majority of the content. So if you think about your Facebook, um, most of you guys are voyeurs, right? you typically want to view things that other people produce, whether, whether it's photos and, and uh, other items. The second type are kind of a curators, people that, you know, that do a like or comment, but you don't really have time to kind of uh, update your status message or uh, upload uh, photos. And the third type are, are the people that, that do, um, 
that upload majority of the content on Facebook. This social rewards and feedback is incredibly important uh, for the first type, and and uh, I, uh, that drives the majority of the interactions on uh, on the web. And then finally, um, this is this is the part that uh, majority of the people uh, kind of uh, know. Uh, you have to notify people, um, and this is what people typically call viral. Um, and and uh, but but the issue is, it's super important to kind of uh, look at the feedback loop, um, to look at actions, social rewards, notification, display of status, and it's a continue of feedback loop. Um, people have uh, done research. I forgot where it's at, uh, whether it's Harvard or Stanford um, or some academic institution. They actually looked at people's brains while they were using Twitter and Facebook. Um, and people's brains would just light up every time they would get a retweet. Every time uh, they, they kind of uh, go to their profile and they look at the number of tweets they have, the number of followers they have, the number of people they, they, they follow. And this is why display of status is so important. You're essentially trying to up your kind of uh, status ranking, uh, whether you know it or not, within all these uh, different kind of uh, social applications. And that fee feedback loop um, makes essentially social cocaine. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, um, and if, you, if you look at, um, if you ever see any statistics about uh, kind of a time on site, uh, as well as kind of a unique visitors coming back, uh, repeat visitors coming back, in the early days, uh, Facebook had 75% of the people coming back every single week uh, you know, not including every single month. Um, and people would literally be addicted to it. Um, if you design this well enough and you, you know, design it, uh, the actions are kind of uh, uh, spread out through feeds, emails, uh, and a lot of other channels, they, they fundamentally tie into your basic fundamental human needs. Uh, you know, your, your need to kind of uh, uh, have status, your need for autonomy, your need to, uh, uh, and, you know, your, your basic, basic human kind of uh, social needs. It's just built into your brain. Um, and uh, as I previously mentioned, you know, aspiration, symbols of achievements, notification, and feedback. Um, and there you have it, social kink cocaine. <laughs> um, you know, it's a, uh, it, it's, so my first company was a game company, uh, and, and uh, we, uh, you know, believe it or not, we built Farmville. Uh, we spent th three years building kind of a, uh, the My Meaning Life uh, game, and, uh, um, and it got to about four million users. We spent about five weeks uh, building Farmville, and it got to 200 million users in about late 2009. Um, and and what I'm doing these days is uh, I'm providing kind of a similar mechanics, um, but you know whether you talk about social uh, aspiration, and uh, I'm bringing it into kind of about the workforce. So what better works is 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 it's a way to, for employers to provide uh, uh, benefits to employees. Whether you talk about gym memberships, uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you can tie it into um, different rewards. So, you know, you did a great job, a, pro a good job on this uh, project, uh, and. And uh, here's a uh, you know $25 gift certificate to Sonoma, Sonoma Wine Garden. Um, you know uh, you did great uh, this quarter. Uh, here's here's a good job. So um, you know as you kind of see, it can kind of uh, apply to a variety of kind of uh, uh, applications. And uh, I think the social web is basically here to stay. Uh, and that's what my talk is about uh, execution. So.